Hey guys, this is the Hatchfish here, and you want to see something retarded? Boom! There it is. <laughs> that is an 870 MCS shotgun with a rifle scope. That is correct, a rifle scope. Secondary G17 with the laser sight. Sexy pistol. Sexy sniper scope. It's a little bit bigger than the gun itself, I think, and it takes up half your screen. But, hell is it fun. My setup right now is the 870 MCS shotgun with the 6x rifle scope. Um, extra ammunition, which makes it 7 shots instead of 5, because my ammo is bad. <laughs> I mean, my ammo is bad. Durr, my aim is terrible. Jesus Christ, just watch. Anyways, and then I'm getting frame rate issues on the way I'm watching. Sorry. Um, and then I have. What is it that I have? Right, the slugs, the 12 gauge slugs. Um, hands down, the best ammunition you can have for the gun. I have maxed out the 870, and this is probably one of my favorite setups just because it's fucking hilarious to look at. Um, and I will switch it up later in the game. When I hit the subways, I pull out the infrared scope, which is rape. The infrared scope is unmatched, especially in the subway. I love it, and it makes me feel like a predator. And then, um, in the final two stages, I pull out the... 3.4x scope yes um it's the one you unlock if you're one of the m249 kind of guys it's that first scope you unlock for that it's in um that's probably the overall best scope for the gun i find it's got the better accuracy percentage and it looks cool and um i don't like the acog on the sniper i'm mean, on the sniper shotgun ha huh, same thing <laughs> Anyways, as you can see here, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a good spot between both A and B so that I can cover anybody running over from that far side going to B. Now, um, it slows down for a little bit here and I kind of start to fail at aiming because the sniper scope, I don't know why, but I can't aim with it because I keep forgetting to steady it. I keep forgetting that even though it's a shotgun, I have to breathe in and steady myself. So, I'm about to miss a lot of shots. But I get the job done, I guess. Like, really? Anyways, I wanted to talk about how they balanced the slugs. That's so embarrassing. Yeah, so how they balance the slugs compared to Bad Company 2. So if you played Bad Company 2, the slugs were a freaking ridiculous attachment. Whatever. Specialization on the gun, if you will. And, um... You would easily arrange a sniper rifle, but you could not have a scope. And when you crouched, your reticule made this perfect little cross. I just made the sign with my hands, and I'm not sure why. But, um, it's amazing in that game. And it was pretty much a guaranteed one-shot kill no matter what. Now, in this game, it is not a guaranteed one-shot kill, especially with the lag. You're going to be ending up shooting those extra two shots anyways, even if you do hit them the first time. But, long range, the damage drop is a lot more... I don't know, it still feels a little overpowered at extreme ranges, like here. But then again, it's a two-shot kill here because I keep missing. Or, no, that was a one-shot kill, my bad. But I think someone was already shooting at him. So, fair is fair there. But, um, I pretty much think I take off the scope soon enough. Uh, and anyways, um, the slugs feel more balanced because they're medium range to, like, slightly on the longer uh, scale of medium if you know what I mean like medium to long range but definitely not long range like you're not gonna go from the beginning the defenders deployment to the attackers deployment on this like you could in bad company too so it's better and also um, sometimes it will do a hundred percent damage sometimes it will do 98 percent damage giving that person in time to turn around and shoot you because point blank uh, a submachine gun will tear you apart no matter what if they still got time to shoot at you because you have to pump that gun although sometimes although um, I'm looking forward to unlocking the M10 shotgun because then I'm gonna be able to find out if I can spam slugs <laughs> uh, semi-auto shotgun slugs will be fun 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 right now um, I felt uncomfortable in this kind of situation with this uh, scope because the infrared is a lot better and my computer will drop frame rate like there's no tomorrow 
when I look down a scope in the middle. Like, this area is fine when I look down scope, but if I look down a magnifying scope on the other side of the map, like where there's all the fire, I will drop to like 15 frames per second. I think you actually get to see that in a little bit. And it just, I don't understand. <laughs> Can't be because of the fire, can it? I mean, really? It doesn't matter if I'm recording or not. But, that, anyways, the tactics with the shotgun, I find a more advanced carefully, but then take your corners quickly. Like, here, I'll show you an example when it pops up. I can't really just explain it. Well, I can, but I'm not very good at it, if you have guessed. So, attacking this section of the map has become a lot easier for me, because I've worked out my own routes. I found which ones are the least... Uh, Actually, I'm right here, I'm going through all the options for the gun. So you've got the flash suppressor, the laser sight, and the extended mag. Then you've got buckshot, flechette, frag, and slug. And there you've got the uh, RDS and all that stuff. And you also, after this, I unlocked all the Russian sights too. But they're pretty much the same thing to me. And I hated that spawn. Really? You're just gonna, you're gonna spawn me with everybody shooting at me already? Okay, thanks, game. But, bullshit aside, um, this is obviously where the best place to use a shotgun is. And um, normally I don't do full games with the shotgun, but I thought just for shits and giggles, because I haven't seen another video with anybody using the sniper rifle scope in the shotgun yet, I'd pull that out, because I think everybody needs to see it that hasn't spent the time with the shotgun. So, this is where the shotgun is at home. Close range, congested areas, so that even my bad aim can't fuck me over. And the infrared scope just makes it that much easier in this lighting to see the enemy. For example, I'm gonna walk up here and you're gonna see why. Maybe you saw that guy in my scope before? He blazes bright orange and fires green. Yeah, I'm gonna see you. And that's an awesome glitch. It's kinda scared the crap of me. And then you're gonna see me here in a minute. You can be sneaky with a shotgun too. Because for some reason, I don't really ever see shotgun tracers, even with the slugs shooting at me. So, see that? And there's a flashlight. And to me, the flashlights are a giant waste of time. I do not like using them, and honestly, I couldn't care if other people use them. Thanks for telling me where you are. And if they go come at you point blank, if you still see them first, all you gotta do is shoot at the middle of the flashlight. It's a circle, find the middle. And then you saw another feature of the infrared sight is when you're getting shot, it goes fuzzy and makes it harder for you to shoot at all. <laughs> Which I kind of like. I don't know. A tinge of realism. Maybe it's like your gun wiring getting messed up because you're getting shot at. And if you really want to beat the station, sorry, um, there's multiple routes you can go. There's the left-hand side. There's this middle section which splits up into both the left and middle side. Middle sections, rather. For example, I don't really want to call this the middle, but it's the middle indoors. And off to the right is the middle with the train, and then the right-hand flank is all those little rooms. I used to take the right-hand flank all the time, but that's just way too easy for the enemy to camp. So, instead, I take the middle, or go through the train on the right-hand side, and that way you have the best kind of view to take out the enemy. Alright, so here my team has planted B, and you gotta get in a good position for B. Because if they get through that little plywood, it's quite hard to kill. So there's really just me and the other guy. But since you can see through fire relatively easily with the infrared, I can take the cover of the trains and the visual cover of the fire in the platform. And I forgot that you also have to study the infrared scope, so I waste a lot of ammo on this one guy. But, wait for it, yes, I do still get him. And flashlights actually are quite good against the infrared scopes. Like I think you'll see in a second here. Yeah, like, I don't know why he didn't just shoot me, because he pays for it there. And then I get shot, I think. Uh, yeah, I stood up. So, there you go. Use the cover on the railways is a great way to advance up to B and A. <laughs> My team in this game was actually quite good. Normally, well, I don't want to say normally, but quite often I've been getting on teams where they don't want to push up and it's really just me and maybe one other guy. And my KDR just starts to suck ass. <laughs> and also defending, I find, is really, really boring when the team doesn't even get out of their spawn. Because they're afraid of their KDR or something. KDR doesn't matter. And, and 
we're about to advance up here, and I think you're gonna get to see why I don't really like the infrared scope on the on the brighter levels, because everything is green. And I mean, while you'll still see the enemies orange, um, I like to know my environment a little bit better and see what's what. So it's personal preference on that. And next, um, clearing out this part after the fact of um, getting through the subway station is hard because people don't realize that everyone's going to come through the enemy quite often camps those stairs because it's the quickest way to get to be and be is the easiest spot for them to defend because it's closer to their spawn at least that's what I find but I was getting shot at there but my team actually came through for me once again this was a good team I didn't have to do a whole lot of work I'm not gonna lie which I really appreciated <laughs> So here I picked up a UMP, um, it's not really my kind of gun, I'm scrolling through to find out what class he is, and surprise, he's a noob tube class, so, um, I only ever used this in the alpha before, and this is, I don't know, the arc changed a little bit, so it's kind of weird, but I, I blow up that wall if I can with something, because it makes it easier just for the attackers to get in, and there I get a noob tube kill, and, um, that's really all I, I don't mean, there's not too much to say about the noob tube, it's a noob tube. And there's karma for me. Pick up a noob tube, go to go around a corner, and naturally there will be a guy waiting for you. But shit happens. Um, I think I put on the 3.5 scope, which is my favorite. And yeah, there we go. So personal preference all around for everybody, and that's what I like about Battlefield. You like the scope, go unlock it, and you can use it Russian or American side. So. It's fun. Anyways, um, I like to try and patrol these central escalators because while your team has access to the escalators on attack here, they can go to A or B. But unfortunately, they did get A and then defused, which is one of the disadvantages of sitting here. And I don't even know where that guy came from, but thanks for the kill. And I don't know what he's doing either, but thanks for the kill. Mailbox, checking his mail. Bad timing. So... Anyways, something I'm going to talk about for a little bit right now is the PC and uh, console discussion. Which one is better? I have had thorough time on both. I've got about three hours on PS3 with friends. And Jesus, I think I'm on like nine hours on the PC. It's the weekend and I was sick for a couple days, so winning. <laughs> um, I couldn't plant here actually, by the way, so it was really weird. It wouldn't let me plant. But I get it in the end. <laughs> right. So, uh, PC versus console. PC. Um, it's all down to personal preference, though. But here's my reasoning. Bear with me. It's not about graphics, either. Yes, the graphics will look better on PC. I do honestly think that these settings, which I record on, which is low and ultra textures, does look better than the PS3 version and the Xbox version from what I've seen. I have gotten like 10 minutes on an Xbox version of a friend's house. Um, graphically, it's to me, I feel like it's a little less than the PS3, but then again, so it should be with the uh, hardware comparison. But we're not doing PS3 versus Xbox here, we're doing consoles. And by the way, destroy the fucking mobile spawn points if you see them, because it's a pain in the ass. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so. PC controls tighter, at least for me. If you're not comfortable on a keyboard and mouse, I would recommend getting it for console, unless you feel like putting the time in to be able to learn how to play on it. And for some reason, this section actually has a, the biggest freaking waiting time ever, giving the defenders time to set up. But they never do, I actually, I find. Nonetheless, um, the console versions, I just find I don't get the same aiming controls that I can on the PC, but then again, that's with any game, really. But, um, everything just feels that much tighter and smoother on the PC. And, um, I like servers as well, so when the full game comes out, the server browser will be great. And especially since I'm in a clan, so we play together a lot, and they support server. Like, they'll support a server, maybe two sometimes, depending on whatever's going on. So... You know I can always find somebody to play with there. And I don't know why I tried to revive from a mile away. By the way, on attack, if you have the defib, use it. I don't care. I don't 
prepare if you're about to shoot some guy that's not looking at you. Defibrillate. We need those tickets. Anyways, sorry, I keep getting distracted, but... Aiming fail! Alright. Actually, this is really embarrassing here. Anyways, um... The PC version is just tighter, it runs smoother. If you have a PC that can handle it, go for it, even if it's only on low. I run this on my laptop right now because my desktop's out of commission. So, fun. Um, the console version, although, is not bad. Let me get that point across to everybody. Um, actually, I believe the PS3 even has a um, advan um, download time advantage. Like, they get the... Uh, Mm, exclusivity on the DLC that's the word I'm looking for for like a week or something or is it a month I hope it's a week which is different uh, for sure but um I mean I'm not a fan of the exclusivity deals at all so if that even happened kind of makes me sad but nonetheless um, but the console versions are not bad I just feel personal opinion that the PC version is tight like handles tighter in every way and looks better and I can aim <laughs> that being said I will be playing it on console a lot too because it is still hella fun <laughs> and I mean there's not a whole lot I can say about it really it's the same game it's just more customization on the controls as well with the keyboard and mouse so you can customize every key but the games are relatively identical between the systems. That's my opinion. I don't believe in the fact that one system is better than the other on the same game for most of the time. Like there are certain games like Call of Duty where they favor one system and just f screw the rest over. And I really need a way to tell if it's a friendly or uh, an enemy motion uh, mobile spawn point, by the way. But I'll just keep shooting every single one until I get the job done. And here, normally, Every, takes everybody to bum rush B, but this team that was defending just barely existed. Like, I had trouble finding them at some points, but you'll notice in these last sections, I just kind of bum rushed out of the spawn point and died a lot. So, you know, I should have been more careful, and I probably would have had a better score for it, but the score at the end is alright nonetheless. So, too long didn't read, didn't listen. PC is my personal preference to the Battlefield games. Uh, the console versions do have their validity, and they are they're decent, but they're not the, as great as the amount of people and the amount of stuff you can have on the PC. Because I still don't think anything will beat 64 person conquest. Are you kidding me? I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time finding people in the console game. But there, the game's over. I don't even know what I died from right at the end there. I just kind of randomly flipped into the air. But apparently that's happening to a lot of people. I think my score is like 18-11 at the end there. Which, is, which isn't bad for using the shotgun the whole time. Because it's not exactly the most flexible of guns. But there you go. You got to see the 6X, the 3.4X, and the infrared. The rest of the scopes are fairly essential. So. That's it. Just scroll through the uh, ribbons there. And there you can see the vehicles. I've got a little of experience on the tank there, but what could that mean? <laughs> so I had your fist on and off, and I'll see you next time. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.